Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Gaming X Machina and today we're playing a game that quite frankly I haven't played in years as well as a game that is considered one of the best RPGs ever made and that my friends is by the ingenious Squaresoft uh, which is actually uh, yeah, Squaresoft, which is actually Square Enix before the merger with uh, with Enix and so on. So, without further ado, uh, let's go battle mode. Enemies will attack even if you are not ready. Take your time to choose items and fight strategic. I Active seems like it'll be a bit better. Uh, let's go with uh, the actual name Chrono. Now, when this game, this game was a commercial as well as just a success in general. Uh, one of my favorite things uh, is that Akira Toriyama, who also worked on the Dragon Quest series, was part of the designer for this. And I am a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, Dragon Ball fan, uh, and Dragon Quest fan. Chrono, Chrono, good morning, and yeah, uh, another thing that set this apart from uh, from other SNES uh, games at the time was the was not only the time travel uh, mechanics, but also the fact that this game has multiple endings, which makes it which makes uh, replayability so much more. Though, uh, I, I can't remember if, uh, Chrono is a silent protagonist like most, uh, like most JRPG, uh, people at the time. Again, I haven't played this in years, so bear with me as I, uh, rediscover everything. Okay, B button. B button is to run. Luca. Now, uh, one of my favorite characters in this has always been Frog. Fro Frog has always been awesome. Only because he's a giant sword wield like I think it's a sword. I can't remember. But he it, it was like a giant uh, sword wielding frog and everything. Now, uh, I do remember we start out here at the Millennial Fair before, uh, before Luca's time machine goes uh goes all wrong and we can actually win stuff as you can see there's a race here uh I don't believe we can bet but no I don't think we can run but I know we can bet on like who will win sure let's uh let's try to guess the winner uh Let's go with G.I. Uh, Jogger since he won last time. Is it not taking? Okay, it didn't take. So, uh, this renowned Ten of Horrors. Spend your zero silver points here. Parental discretion is advised. Steel Runner might try something. Uh, let's see here. Okay, see? As you can see, we can, uh, buy stuff. So, uh, let's, let's buy a karate gi. And, uh... Okay. Item. Okay, now he is equipped with the karate gi. Uh, let's see if we can win some points here. Press the A button while uh, facing the bell. Judge a distance carefully and press A button again. Uh, 
Let's see how many silver points we can get. Darn. This is a lot harder than it looks. Alright, I, I, I think I'm... I think I'm getting it now. Now, I believe the silver points you can get lots of items for. I, I can't remember. Uh, it's been a long... Again, this game came out when I was... Uh, when I was still very young. And I didn't get it until a few years later. After it's uh, release date when I was actually old enough to play video games and everything. But this this has always been one of my favorite games. And I just thought I'd, uh, I'd share it with you guys. The soundtrack is amazing, by the way. Even though we've only, uh, we've only seen this amount. War with the Magus 400 years ago. Remember that. That'll be very important. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's the, uh, he's a gee dude. Okay, let's explore, uh, you have anything cool to say? So what if we won a war against a uh, wizard hundreds of years ago? Right. Now this is, uh, Marley, I think? Uh, let's see, my pendant... Let's talk with her again. Give her the pendant. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, if I'm correct, she is actually a princess from the past. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we can exchange silver points for gold. Robot battle trying to collect silver points if you win. Okay. And now, uh, time for our first fight. Let's, uh, let's see if we're any good. As you can see, it's fairly, uh, it's a fairly simple battle style still used today. But hey. Why fix something that ain't broken, right? Alright, looks like we won. Now, let's see. Now, each time you actually fight an enemy, you learn, you get tech points for uh, winning, if I'm correct. Uh, and those can be used to learn new techniques and everything. Instead of just, like, learning them by level up and everything. Uh, again... Again, I, I just love this game. If I remember correctly, this is a uh, soda guzzling contest. This is actually, this is probably one of the hardest. Uh, let's see if we can win again. Ah, uh, seven. Almost added that time. 
Like, I actually don't think I ever beat this as a kid. And I doubt I'm gonna beat it now. <laughs> like, 7 has been my best. Alright. Wow, where's my cat? That's probably the cat that was over here. Okay, let's go to that horror place that uh where we could spend our actual silver points. This right this tent right down here. Welcome Becker's Lab. Let the spine tingly show begin. Is this just another battle? Vix Wedge Piet. I believe this guy is Vix. Oh, awesome. I got a doll. can't remember if you have to collect like a certain amount of silver points to advance or not. So yeah, I have to, uh, I have to mess around and... And get more points. That's one of the few things I didn't like about this. Oh, what's up here? X, Y, L, and R, so. <laughs> so we can actually dance and everything. Again, I I haven't seen this, I haven't played this game in a while, and it's actually just as fun as I remember. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to try to beat that dude, but let's, uh, I forget how I'm supposed to get this cat to the little girl. I get somewhere. And each time I like go down here and everything, it respawns, so. I guess I'll get some more points. Let's go with, uh, let's see if we can get 80 points. Let's 
seven, eight, nine. You know what? Let's go beat Gato a bit, a bit more. The battle robot. See if we can't uh, build up some more points. Now I've always, again, I've always been a fan of JRPGs and everything, and yeah, I I just love, I just love the classics and everything. All right, we got a level up. Uh, uh, you're such a pig, Chrono. Blah blah blah. Yes, I'm gonna continue beating you, Gato. If even if it's only for a little bit, because I, these level ups will actually uh, will actually help in the long run. Uh, as you can see, I believe Marley uses a crossbow and Chrono uses a sword. Yep, crossbow and sword. Okay, I need two more need two more tech points, so two more battles with uh, Gato should actually allow me to learn Cyclone. Now the version that I'm playing is the uh is a SNES version. Uh, they did release it for the Nintendo DS and everything uh, a few years back. But I figured I'd go with the classic, you know? I wonder how many silver points we have. So uh, let's go talk to that one guy and figure out how many we have. Whoops. Yum, tastes like chicken. We should have a fairly decent amount. 69. <laughs> 69, my favorite number. Again, I can't remember what we have to do to actually uh, advance. See if we can't make this a little bigger. There we go. 
That's 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 a lot better. Sorry about that, guys. I should have done that earlier. All right, and we just learned Cyclone. Right, let's battle him one more time. Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you, uh, at the actual cyclone and everything. Tech, cyclone. And attack. Like, I just love the sprite work and everything. Like, the battle animations are awesome in this game. And of course, we just leveled up again, which is always awesome. Well, no, I don't want to talk to them again. I will, in fact, heal them. Uh, come on. They're still not open? All right. Let's uh let's do this again. But let's uh let's spend 80 points this time since we have enough. Monsters closing in, throw your pack against them and push them back into the cage. Okay. Okay. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh no! That wasn't good! Uh, <laughs> um... Didn't expect that! <laughs> oh my god, what do I... What do I have to do to fucking... Get them to fucking open up. Kind of want that load sore. I mean, I'll try. Okay, there we go. I just had to talk to the Milky or Swordsmith. I feel stupid. <laughs> eh, she wants to get some candy. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, come on, Marley. Yeah, yeah, thanks for waiting my ass. Uh, step right up, any of you. To use it, tap out and you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Of course it has to be me. I'm the main character, after all.
but I wonder I wonder what's going to happen. Teleportation. It worked, I can't believe it. <laughs> Let's go again, see what happens. Let's talk with Marley. <laughs> and now? No way, throw the switch. Okay. Shit's about to get real, real lady and ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the uh, the pendant is reacting, and the system's about to overload. As you can see, hmm, I wonder what that could be. Again, I love the soundtrack in this. Uh, I also love the character sprite animations and everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh. More power. And so here I go to follow the follow Marley. I mean, come on, look at that. That's like so psychedelic and everything, which is awesome. Like, tell me that doesn't look awesome. And here we are. Where where, where could we be? Nobody knows. Uh, unless you've already played the game before and everything. Uh oh. What's that rustling sound? Oh no. Enemies. Blue imps. And as you can see, uh, I believe battle actually affects who you can attack. Like, I think the closer the uh, closer they are, the more damage you do. Uh, I can't. I'm not entirely sure though. Yeah, it seems like the closer they are, the more damage you do. Anyways, we were just ambushed. By uh, blue imps. And uh, stuff just got real. We are now in a different place than where we were before. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And follow me on Twitter at GamerXMachina. And everyone, have a nice day. This is uh, Gaming X Machina, signing out.